I wanted to take a quick look at the Ethereum US dollar. And um, I know, you know, a lot of people are bullish on it. A lot of people are bearish uh, from what I'm seeing on Twitter and on different chats and rooms and um, stuff like that. Um, I'm uh, really curious of um, what's happening here. Um, let, let's start with the daily charts, right? So if you look at the daily charts, we've reached the low, um, same as the other cryptos around December 15. Um, we've moved up um, and then we retraced. So you can see this pattern here, similar in all other cryptos. Uh, what's happening right now, so Ethereum kind of pulled back. And if you if you look at the relation, and I've just labeled this, um, you know, very simple, a very simple ABC. Let's say that somebody's bearish, right, on Ethereum um, over long term. Um, we are on the daily charts. I'm going on the weekly charts. And, uh, you know, you can kind of look and see on this wave count where, you know, basically it says that we've completed a very large move in Ethereum back in January of 2018. We have a five wave move up. And then we are moving back um, into five ways to complete a wave A. You know, after a five move up, you need a three wave correction, right? So you have an A, B, and then C, which is even lower. So this is this is kind of you know one of the crazy and you know end of uh, cryptos kind of a town account. But let's just go with it for now, right? So let's say that we've, um, and I don't think anybody will will like you know to see cryptos. At this level maybe the bankers or whoever but uh you know let's just go down so it's one two you have a three so you have a subdivision one two three four five that's a third wave um and now you're pulling back in four and then you can go back uh, in a fifth wave right so to complete four uh you at least i think you need to go um to about 200 so you need the c wave we are in the middle of kind of completing this c wave move uh part of the larger wave four before there is a possibility of selling towards new lows right so this is on weekly charts we go on a one day and what's interesting is that and and you see this the more the more you watch the charts you know the markets tend to have you know equilibrium and and move in sync and uh um you know, heavy qualities, right? So what? just a simple measurement, what I've done is I've just taken a trend line and I just uh, uh, take it from the bottom all the way to the top of wave, wave A, and then I copied it and I just moved it over here, right? And we started the bottom of wave B and that kind of gives us, you know, a target of about $200 uh, in Ethereum, all right? So that would be a wave equality between C and A into this wave four. Uh, so this is kind of what I'm looking at in terms of price action for Ethereum to get to before it reaches a very important level, which is if you go back, um, uh, in November, right, this would be the top of the way four and, you know, that big triangle that we broke down from, right? So this would be a nice, decent target for, um, for Ethereum to get there. Now, if we go down and we kind of decompose this and we move down, um, let's say to a six hour chart. Um, I've labeled first wave one, then we have the wave two coming down um, in a flat, and then uh, we are going, start going up, right? So you have uh, kind of the same, same situation. And this is a little bit hard to count because it's not fully developed, but all I know is that this structure right here is not complete yet. So um, more than likely we're gonna get a break up here uh, and we're going to move towards the targets um, because there is there is no count yet where where I can go where I can go bearish on it. I guess the only thing I could see probably would be if this is an A. Sorry about that. This is an A. This is a triangle B, and then this is a C wave, right? Let's say that that's the case, then we will need to start moving lower. Um, but if I go here to a um, uh, 45 minutes chart, uh, this structure here, it's just, you know, looks way too impulsive uh, for me to consider this a bearish count. You know, I can count inside this triangle, I can go and just say ABC, this is a wave A, ABC, this is a wave B, you know, ABC, this is a wave C, and now we start moving up. This could extend a little bit more and just become more of a triangle where you have an A, B, C, D, E, and then you move up. Uh, 
But until you get a five-way move down in an impulsive manner and break, um, there is no reason to look for any bullish, for any bearish uh, sentiment or anything uh, bearish into this um, Ethereum US dollar. So um, I would be patient and I would just kind of wait for this thing to break up and, you know, reach, let's say this would be a wave four, we would reach wave three, then we would pull back in four and then go back in another five. Right, so uh, actually, I'm going to go back here and just go um, go to the three hour. And in terms of wave counting, that's kind of how this will look, right? So, uh, and again, if it just goes up to this wave five, right, this would be very close to that $200 target um, that we have up here. Where actually, I'm going to go a little bit higher. Let's go at a six hour. So you can kind of see how how everything matches uh, in terms of uh, in terms of price, right? So you get one, two, then you have wave three that still needs to be complete, right? We're working wave four right now. We go up in three. Um, the nice thing about this is this wave three would be at 161 Fibonacci projection of wave one from wave two. That would be around 170. Let's say then you would need a fourth wave coming down, and then we will go up into a final five to reach this 200 area. So longer term, uh, you know, by the end of this, um, let's say by the end of this uh, this month, uh, maybe March 30th, you know, we should we should be able to reach those levels. If not, probably in the first week of March um, to kind of get towards the 200 level. Now, of course, you can always have a very strong move and just start shooting straight up, but you know, we'll deal with that if that happens. Um, but for right now, I just don't see any bearish development. Uh, and the only one that, you know, would make sense is if um, this move that we just did here, uh, it's a, um, you know, it's an ABC correction. So that would be, just pull this up. Um, and if this would be, you know, an A, triangle b and then this would be a c right and now from here we move down uh but that would continue that would mean that we would have a lot since this is a correction right here that means that we would get a lot more chop into this area before anything else happens right so that's why i think we also have this wave four here and this consolidation just because the markets are have an equality here if i measure c versus a here you see we are at exactly a hundred percent um this wave c versus wave a um in times of in terms of movement so that's why we are encountering this resistance over here and you know kind of we have a previous zone here as well so that's just all i want to say about ethereum um you know quick short video talk to you guys later bye